Welcome to another Z Code System video. I hope you're doing well out there and you are surviving during the COVID-19 pandemic and you are enjoying your time off if you have it. Welcome back to Z Code System. And today we're gonna to be talking about investing and being greedy when others are fearful. Of course, you can go over to the Z Code System website where you can find all where you can find out information about sports betting, but you can also get information and help with investing in the stock market. And that's what we're going to talk about today, a few little things that we have uh, come up with here for our video. And of course, you can go over to the website and read up on all the blogs, including our blog, our recent blog on investing, as well as our recent blogs on esports and horse racing, which are things, sports that are going on right now that you can still wager on uh, while most traditional sports are on the sidelines. So guys, let's get started talking a little bit about investing and being greedy when others are fearful. Now, right now, as you know, there are some hard hit industries and I've just identified three right now with travel, sports betting, and the restaurant and hospitality being very hard hit right now due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, if you have been looking through the news lately, you will see that the IMF chief has cited the COVID-19 pandemic as being worse on the world's economy than the 2008 housing crisis and uh, the economic crisis that we experienced just over 10 years ago. Now, that was a devastating financial crisis and recession that lasted for a couple of years. But this already, in just a matter of weeks, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic has caused an even greater recessions with many people losing their jobs. And if you're keeping up with news in the USA, uh, over a course of two to three weeks, nearly 10 million people um, uh, applied for unemployment benefits there. So things are getting very serious all around the world. Luckily, luckily, I say there are a few countries that are starting to see uh, their spikes in coronavirus cases and deaths plateau. And even today, Austria has announced that they are potentially set to lower the restrictions that they have right now in the country. So that is some great news for uh, for Austria and for uh, the world as a whole, uh, as we can look towards that hopefully occurring in other countries. But we're still going to be in this for quite some time. We're going to see sports um, on the back burner for the most part for quite a while. Again, there are a few sports still going on, like horse racing, um, soccer going on in certain countries such as Nicaragua and Belarus. Um, perhaps some leagues will be starting back up soon in China, as well as the Chinese Basketball League, as well as Korea, and uh, uh, hopefully things will get back to normal soon. But as you can see, these industries, travel, sports betting, and restaurant hospitality have been heavily hit. Now, travel, we have seen companies grounded completely, airlines, uh, resorts, all of these are, are hit massively right now. And this actually is going to translate into something we're going to talk about in just a little bit. So these industries are, are struggling and looking for a little bit of help. And actually, this could give you a little bit of profit if you bet or uh, invest, I should say, wisely. Now, as I said just a minute ago, uh, over the course of about a two to three week period, nearly 10 million individuals in the U.S. have applied for unemployment benefits. That's going to be uh, have a huge knock on effect and possibly uh, those numbers are going to increase uh, there in America. But what we're going to look at is some tips right here for when you invest your money right now. So you might be a bit fearful right now to invest money. And that's understandable, completely understandable. Uh, but there are some ways or some ideas that you could use to make smart investments. So for one, buy when others are selling. Uh, that is one of the tips that uh, the likes of Warren Buffett uh, give out, and that is to buy when others are fearful 
of what is going on around them. As people bail out uh, and they start to sell their stocks, well, you can gobble these up for perhaps reduced price. And then once they rebound, you will be able to reap the rewards of being a bit greedy when others are fearful. So the idea is that these stocks are going to rebound. Um, the travel industry, for example, uh, once things get back to normal, or at least we resemble some normality, people are going to start traveling again. They're going to, everybody's cooped up right now. They're going to want to go back out and they're going to want to go and do something. So travel is probably going to be one sector that hits a real high once we get through all of this. Uh, I've identified three other um, elements here or three other sectors that you may want to look at. And one is tech, uh, pharmaceuticals and entertainment. Um, pharmaceuticals be due to obviously um, medicines and the different um, equipment that's going to be needed for uh, people to recover from both the coronavirus, but uh, other uh, issues that could possibly happen following the coronavirus. And uh, tech obviously falls into that with the equipment, uh, as well as tech in other ways. And we'll talk about that with our next bit. Um, but of course, entertainment. Um, I know right now I am watching Netflix a lot. I'm watching Prime a lot. Um, there's not much else to do besides to watch TV or watch movies, play video games. If you have a little bit of work, that's great. But at the same time, there's a good chance you're using technology to enable yourself to watch something, to uh, have a little bit of a um, step away from reality right now. And that is a great place to invest money. And if you're looking at some companies to invest in money, well, airlines, as I was saying just a minute ago, people are going to want to travel once the uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, ends, or at least it, it uh, you know, reduces um, the effects that we're feeling right now. People are going to want to get out. They're going to want to book travel. They're going to want to book holidays. I know right now I've got a couple of trips lined up later this year. Those are in doubt at the moment, but I am getting a lot of emails from the airlines that I uh, fly with who are trying to advertise or who are advertising actually um, holidays and vacations for January 2021 or for trips in the summer of 2021. So airlines are already looking toward the future. So people with financial security right now may be booking those vacations or once we see things kind of peter out with the COVID-19 pandemic, well, these play, these people will be booking up trips uh, to different places. And who knows, the mentality of people may be changed after this. Uh, this may affect people in different ways. So you may see people wanting to travel more or maybe uh, take those trips that they've always put off. So there's a, a, a sector that to think about, airlines and travel. Disney is another one. Disney was one that I've heard mentioned uh, by other people because, um, of course, Disney parks are not being uh, visited by people. They're closed down. So you can have these people going on travel, uh, going on trips, going on travel and in uh, visiting Disney and, and enjoying their uh, fun parks, as well as right now, people watching Disney films or buying up Disney films. I'm not sure about uh, where you are, but I know where I am. We have an exclusive Disney channel that we we can subscribe to uh, that gives you all Disney all the time. So um, in the same way that Netflix and Prime give you their subscription service, Disney has one here uh, where I live. So, you know, those are things to invest into because maybe people who are cooped up right now, they need something to watch. Now, of course, number three right there, I've identified Zoom. I've went ahead and put Skype. Um, these tech companies are enabling people to work freelance and remotely. Uh, I know, for example, I've used Zoom recently for various meetings I've had and, and pers both personal and, uh, you know, just talking to family. So Zoom is one of these uh, newer companies, if you will, that is really increasing in popularity right now and um, use. Um, another one I know that uh, my wife and some of her friends are keeping in contact with is Marco Polo. So these different tech companies and groups are doing very well right now, I would assume, and lots of people are going to be using them. Now, even when the uh, pandemic is reduced and people are starting to get back to work in some ways, you're probably going to see a lot of businesses and companies still allow their employees to work from home if they can. So this is going to only increase 
those uh, the reach of those tech companies, if you will, and possibly the profits and investing in them. Now, in addition, one thing that could happen, uh, one of the effects of this pandemic is it could see a lot of companies allow their employees to work from home in the future more often. Therefore, technologies like Zoom to have meetings face to face over um, uh, through your computer camera, this becomes an even bigger, uh, uh, even a, a bigger thing in a bigger company. So I'm thinking that companies are going to allow more people to work remotely in the future because think about all the companies who have buildings and have rent to pay. And basically all they do is house employees who come to the office for eight hours a day and probably do about four hours of work. Now, why not let them work from home where they may be more encouraged to do eight hours of work and to connect with each other via these technologies. So definitely look into those to invest in. Now, the last one, I've gone with Amazon on this one. Amazon, obviously one of the bigger companies in the world. And uh, Amazon is still running here in the UK. It's making sure that people are um, uh, delivered some of the essential goods that they need and that, uh, you know, they're keeping things ticking over. Even an, an order I've made recently um, will be coming in a couple of days. It's a non-essential item, but they're still running and they're still uh, delivering these. People are not able to just walk out to their local uh, big box store to buy the goods that they need. They've got to, to get these in some way, and Amazon is allowing that. So definitely one of those companies to invest in. Keep your eye on Amazon. Um, just such a, a, a big uh, profit uh, maker there for investing. Now, guys, those are just some of my tips and some of my ideas of the companies and the sectors to invest in. Now, of course, you can always go over to the Z Code system and find out much, much more uh, when we're talking about sports investing and stocks. And we've got a great community over there to help you make wise, educated decisions. So I encourage you, go over, join today, make use of the VIP club and the VIP wall and get all of the insight and share with our community there. So you could be making profits in no time and hopefully with our fingers crossed, We'll have traditional sports back very, very soon. But until then, you've also got esports, you've got virtual soccer, you've got all these other non traditional sports. You've got horse racing as well, which is a traditional sport. But you can go over to the Zico system website, you can check out our blogs, you can get tips, and you can start making profits today. Guys, I hope you're keeping safe and I hope you're keeping well. Please like the video and subscribe to the Zico system channel to get updates every time we post a video. And we will see you next time here at Z-Code System.